Hi. Here we have very interesting problem in factorization. Here we have to factorize c minus d minus 4 c minus d whole cube. Yes, we have formula for c minus d whole cube but I am not going to use that formula right now. Why? See, let me do one smart thing. If I put a bracket over here, it doesn't change anything. Right? But it converts this expression into two terms which have c minus d common. So I can straight away take one c minus d common leaving behind 1 minus 4c minus d whole square. Yes, we have found one factor, isn't it? And now this 4c minus d whole square can be written as, let me write this c minus d as it is, and then 1 minus can be written as 2c minus d whole square, right? What we had over here? We had 4c minus d whole square. We had 4c minus d whole square, which actually can be written as 2 square c minus d whole square, right? Or this can be written as 2c minus d everything whole square. That is what I have done over here, isn't it? Yes. And now we can use the formula of a square minus b square, which is a minus b multiplied by a plus b, right? Yes, and this one can actually be written as 1 square. So now we can use this formula. So if we use that formula, we will get the c minus d will be as it is. And one factor will be 1 minus 2c minus d right and another will be 1 plus 2 c minus d right and if I open these two brackets this can be written as c minus d multiplied by 1 minus 2 c this minus multiplied by minus d will give us plus 2 d and this can be written as 1 plus 2c minus 2d. So these three are the factors of c minus d minus 4c minus d whole cube. It had a cube but we haven't used the formula of cube.